Hey guys, it's your friend Vijaya, and guess what? I'm back with another video. All thanks to you guys, because you've been so positive with my last video for gluten-free chicken wings. And, you know, some of you made the recipe, some of you posted pictures, others have commented. And one of the comments that I've gotten on my YouTube channel was actually a request. And this request was from Hayward14510. Hi Hayward, how are you? Um, and Hayward requested a video on how to make perfect white rice. More specifically, basmati rice. Now you're probably wondering, basmati, I've never heard of that before. Like, what's basmati? Well, some of you might pronounce it basmati. Basmati and basmati are one and the same. And I'm gonna teach you the one inch rule, which will forever make sure that your rice turns out perfect every single time. You don't necessarily have to use basmati, that's what I'm using today. Any long grain rice will do. So what I have in this bowl is one cup of basmati rice. Now, I'm just using one cup for the sake of this video. You can use two cups, three quarters of a cup, half a cup, it doesn't make a difference. All that matters is the one inch rule, which I'll get to in a second. So, because rice is really starchy, it is a starch, it's coated in starch, it, it's a carbohydrate, you need to rinse it, okay? And this is phase one of making sure you get nice and fluffy rice that's all separated and doesn't clump together. So by rinsing it, you'll notice that this water is transforming in color, becoming kind of milky, and we're just getting rid of the excess starch that coats the outside of the rice. So you'll notice that when you go to restaurants, I'm just gonna drain it. Use a colander if you like. I like to use my hands because it's easy. We'll go in for part two. So you'll notice when you go to restaurants, you'll get rice and all the grains are separated. They're nice and long and not broken. And that's the type of rice we're gonna accomplish today with this method. Okay, so you're just gonna massage the grains gently. And see the liquid is still somewhat milky. I'm gonna use my hands as a makeshift colander, drain. And then by the third time, you should be good to go. So again, Rinse, 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 rinse. Look, you can see the, the water is almost clear. And now we are good to go. Time to make some rice. So let's go to the stove. I have a small saucepan heating up here on high heat. I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil. And that's gonna get nice and warm. And to that, I'm going to add the rice that we've just rinsed. It's going to sizzle a little bit. And the thing that we're trying to accomplish here is to coat and toast each grain of rice. And that will help ensure that when it cooks, it stays nice and fluffy and each grain is separate from one another and doesn't clump together. You don't have to do this for too long, just a minute or so. Okay, now I'm gonna to explain to you the one inch rule. Okay, I'm just gonna drop the heat a little bit. So the one inch rule, for whatever quantity of rice you're cooking, for example, today I'm cooking one cup of rice, that will yield three cups of rice. You're probably wondering, how much liquid do I put in there? How, like, do I need a measuring cup? Do I need a me measuring spoon? No, you don't need any of that equipment. All you need is your brain, the concept of what one inch is, and a liquid. You can use coconut milk, you can use water, you can use chicken stock, you can use apple juice, any liquid. And for the quantity of rice, you're gonna take this liquid, it has to be boiling, it has to be really hot because the hot liquid will help the rice puff up really quickly. And you're gonna fill your pot until there is about one inch of liquid above the rice. So now it's boiling rapidly, as you can see, because this is hot water, and there's about an inch of liquid there. Okay, if I were to dip a ruler in there, I'd be able to prove it, <laughs> but I don't have a ruler, and you know, it is, a, it is an inch. And at this point, you can add your seasonings, you can add clove, you can use cardamom, cinnamon, if you want to scent the rice. Today I'm doing a bit of a Mexican spin, and I am adding some lime, so the juice of one lime, and 
a nice, generous pinch of salt because this is when you want to season. I'm going to give that a bit of a stir. And then what you want to do is you want to trap the heat in there. So I'm going to drop my heat to low. I'm going to put a piece of aluminum foil on top. And if you have a lid, that's when the lid goes on. I don't have a lid. I have a plate because you make do with what you have in the kitchen, right? And I'm just going to drop the heat to low. And I'm just going to walk away. Walk away. All it takes is 10 minutes, set your clock, set your alarm, and when you come back in 10 minutes, you're going to see magic happen. So we'll see you then. So it's been 10 minutes. I'm going to turn off the heat, and let's uncover our rice and see what's waiting in store for us. Be careful. There's a lot of steam. And look at that. Just beautiful. See how all of the grains are separated from one another? and they aren't broken and they're not sticking together. So that's looking good. I know I said 10 minutes, but I have a bit of a secret. Okay, it needs another five minutes off the heat. So I'm gonna return the aluminum foil and plate on back, on, uh, right on top again, and let it chill out for about five minutes. Let like our rice friends meet the rice friends, hang out, chill out. And basically what this will do is it will allow the rice to absorb any leftover moisture inside the pot and will become nice and light and fluffy. So five more minutes, guys. Five minutes is up. Let's check out our rice. And it is good to go. So if you want to follow me over here, I'm just going to empty out the rice into a nice serving platter. As you can see, nothing stuck to the bottom. Everything is nice and fluffy and white. Just beautiful. And our Mexican theme doesn't end there. I actually have a little bit of cilantro, so I'm just gonna just roughly chop through it because cilantro and lime go so beautifully together. And it's gonna add a lot of beautiful color as well. Gonna scoop that up, dump it onto the rice, fancy, schmancy, and look at that, just beautiful. So this is how you make beautiful, fluffy, white rice every single time. It's the one inch rule, people. Never forget, one inch of liquid for any quantity of rice in any pot, and you will have a beautiful rice that will have your friends and family saying, hey you, how did you make your rice? Give me the recipe. So try it out, let me know. If you like this video, don't forget to like it below, subscribe and leave a comment for me because I love reading your comments and I love responding to them. And if you have a request like Hayward14510, let me know because I might make it the next time I make a video. Thanks so much for watching guys, I'll see you later.